Today I'm watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season seven, episode one. It's the start of the last season. I have definitely mixed feelings. It's bittersweet for sure. This is the last first episode of oh, my heart. It's been a great, I think, three years now watching this show, which is crazy. So thank you so much for everybody who's been watching and, you know, commenting on the videos and enjoying the reactions. I really appreciate the opportunity to be able to share my first time watching this show with everybody. So thank you so much. And here we go for the last time, the seventh time of starting a new season. I will watch the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie after I finish this season. So there is a little bit after this season, which I know came out before season one. So it's a little bit backwards, but I'm kind of saving that for after I'm finished. And we ended season six with Spike getting his soul reinstated much like we had with Angel so I'm very curious to see where that's gonna go you know we thought he was gonna get the chip taken out of his brain instead of course like true Buffy verse fashion they throw us with this curveball with him getting his soul back and we saw Buffy and Dawn, you know, fighting these zombie creatures from the grave um, in the previous episode it was a great scene to see them, you know, reconnect and kind of come back together after everything that had happened in the previous season. And Willow obviously going very much to the dark side after we lost Tara. Xander being able to bring her back, which was a really sweet moment between those two characters as well and really showed the depth of their friendship. Giles came back from England to try and stop Willow. He was given this power by the coven as well. And... I don't know what that means for his character. I'm hoping he sticks around, but I'm always curious to see, especially with the new season. Who knows? It could have just been for that one episode, but I think he really adds something to the group that they need. And we know Anya and Xander didn't end up getting married. So I'm curious to see where they're going to go. What's that relationship going to look like? The magic box was completely destroyed at the end of the last season as well. We saw Willow defeat Warren in the previous season, but Jonathan and Andrew took off for Mexico. So I'm hoping we get a new bad guy in this season, especially with it being the last season. And I feel like um, in season six, they were trying to focus more on real world things. So I'm kind of hoping we go back to, you know, some supernatural creatures in this season as for our bad guy especially our last season bad guy you know what's that gonna look like I'm nervous and excited going into this episode considering how we left everything but I'm glad Xander was able to bring Willow back and I was worried we were gonna have to do you know a whole season of Willow on this dark magic and her just going on this rampage of revenge basically I mean there will definitely be some things she has to deal with you know now that she seems to be somewhat back to normal we'll find out but yeah, it was definitely scary to see your character go that route. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And check back often for more awesome content. is happening oh my god oh my god it's about power who's got it who knows how to use it what what who are we bringing back now but he's new he doesn't know his strength he he might not know all those fancy martial arts skills they inevitably seem to pick up <laughs> okay buffy's training dawn interesting it doesn't matter how well prepped you are or how well armed you are you're a little girl woman little woman i'm taller than you He's a <laughs> I don't even know how I got down there. If you girls could just give me a hand. So, he's got the power. <laughs> yeah, that backfired. You blood? You can have hers. Power. He's got it. He's going to use it. You won't have it. So this seems risky. I mean, Buffy's there, but still. <laughs> but he's fine. <laughs> Oh god. Oh neck exposed. Oh god. <laughs> Buffy's like, let me show you how it's done. Give him the chops. Oh nice one. <laughs> when in doubt, decapitation works every time. I nearly got the heart. My first time out. I miss the heart too. 
No way. Just the once. <laughs> She's like, don't, don't get it wrong. I'm very good at this. Just wish that was all we had to worry about. Vampires, demons. They're nothing compared to what's coming. I know. I don't like that. I can't believe it's back. Believe me. I thought I was Spike? Lost. Is that what they're talking about? On the very ground that it first stood upon of the brand new state of the art Sunnydale High. What? They they finally rebuilt it? Oh my god. I mean, it's been years, but I'm excited. I always watch the title credits for the first episode of a new season. Oh, yeah, I can see they've added new clips. Yeah, so she's the characters progress. Anya's still in the main cast. Great. Spike's still in the main cast as well, and Anya, or, and, uh, Dawn. I didn't see Giles, though, so I'm guessing that was just a one-off. Oh, there he is. How did he know? Native of Paraguay, if my botanist says. Is there anything you don't know everything <laughs> I've ever met? But there's this this look that they get. Like I'm gonna turn them all into bangers and mash. <laughs> yeah, they knew how strong she was. In the end, we all are who we are. No matter how much we may appear to have changed. Yeah, that's interesting that he's, like, taking her to the coven that had warned him about her in the first place, and she's, like, taking lessons, so very interesting. Board private school, and I can't begin to prepare her for what could possibly come out of there. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's got to bring back memories. I lined up the plans, new and old, and right exactly where the library was, we now have... The principal's office. <laughs> so the principal's evil? We've done that. Yeah. Back to school gift. It's a weapon, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I love the high school as a set. I love the library as a set. I'm gonna take her to class. Have a look around. Okay, I'll be on site here all day, so if you have any needs. Thanks. And how we started the, se the series with uh, Joyce dropping off Buffy at high school. Now we have Xander dropping off Buffy and Dawn at high school. So very interesting. Now remember, you see anything strange or, you know, dead? Got it. And stay away from hyena people. <laughs> oh, gosh. Athletes, you know, or if you see anyone that's invisible. Hey, Buffy. I think see anyone invisible? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How did you... Well, I better get back to work. It's got to start deadening young mind. It's really nice to meet you. You have fun. Yeah, I don't like that he's already heard of Buffy. Hmm, suspicious. And I, I love this high school stuff, so it's such a great throwback, especially for like the last season to kind of go back to our roots and where everything started. And I never thought we would see this set again. It's been years, obviously, but clearly they finally rebuilt it. So and to see all the throwbacks to old episodes, like you're mentioning the fish and hyenas and, you know, look out for invisible. Oh, God. It's always a creepy basement. I can't protect her. Couldn't protect me. Oh my god. That was grim. Get out! Get out! Get out! Is this real or is she just like PTSD flashbacks? I love to dance. I like music. I'm very into Britney Spears' early work. <laughs> you have to go, it's not safe. But we, um, I mean, I thought. Poor Dawn's like, I'm just trying to be a regular high school kid, just like Buffy was. I also had a sister. I hate those. Introduce yourself. Tell me something special about you. Blech. God, they're depressing. Oh, who are they kidding with that happy, shiny crap? 
You're not goading women into anything inventive, and you're not delivering when it is. I don't even know. Yeah, waitress downtown wished her husband was a frog. You made him friend. <laughs> is this an intervention? Shouldn't all my demon friends be here? Sweetie. They are. I'm meaning she's her only friend. Ouch. And to see Xander part of building the school. School being rebuilt. It means something. As in what? Yeah, why are they rebuilding it now? Thanks a lot. Oh, God! Did that happen? What's going on? Poor Dawn. High school's gonna be tough. No one was sitting next to her the whole time! Yeah, this is the same bathroom that Buffy saw stuff in. In general, it was customary for a person who's graduated to, um, you know, go somewhere else. He is not nice. A little bit more about you than I let on before. Isn't that interesting? Oh, it really is. Let's get you out of Let the rivalry begin. Yeah, if someone else can see something, too. I saw something pretty creepy, huh? You wouldn't believe me. She's like, try me, honestly. <laughs> oh my god, get out of there! Oh, it's coming up from the floor now! Oh my god, this high school. Oh my god, oh my god. Cheese and rice. Tough first day. I saw, I saw the earth, Giles. I saw its teeth. Oh, mouth. Okay, she actually saw it. Just could have swallowed. Oh my god, and just having this quick zoom back through the doorway, really cool shot. That dang hell mouth. Spent a little time reading your record. It's um, quite a page turner, kind of a checkered past. <sighs> Why is he lecturing her like she's an adult? Clan tartan of badness, really. Uh, you know, but there are factors. She doesn't have to explain herself to him. Like, she's not going to the school. A girl. She said she died here and that everybody dies here and that we would too. I mean, it's possible. I came down here for a smoke, you know, and I saw it, it was a janitor. He was yelling at me. I thought it was just piss, but I saw him in the light. And all the ghosts from Sunnydale High are just lingering. Okay. So we can run around in circles. You really so think you can run away? <laughs> and they look terrifying, but so cool at the same time. Hear me! Right! Oh! I, I got a present! What is it? Does it kill ghosts? A cell phone? Uh, no, I'll, I'll be right there. Your dogs are dead? And Buffy? Isn't this reception amazing? <laughs> Dawn, I'm close by. Oh my gosh, and even we saw with- oh. Too late was on the board even with like Andrew and Jonathan. Here. Come on, what are you after? Fear, revenge, tasty brains? I think I'd like Don to be my girlfriend. Oh no. I'm the one that dates dead guys. And no- Oh no, oh. Busy making out with your dead boyfriend while I was ripped to death by a werewolf? Is that why you let me die? And to see all the ghosts come back to face her. Dawn! She's not gonna hear you. This place is like a maze. This place is ours now. It was built on our graves. I mean, it's not wrong. At first you don't succeed? <laughs> Cheat! Oh my gosh! Three against one! Oh, nice one! Spike! With this hair, I wasn't expecting to see him back yet. Oh my gosh. What is he doing in the basement of the high school? Are you real? <laughs> That's an evil laugh. Oh my gosh. Duck. There's a duck? No visitors today. Terribly busy. Back. What is he doing? He's just getting other people to. Oh my god, what the heck? Comes in here. 
It's just the three of us. Ugh. Spike, have you seen Dawn? She came down here with some kids. Don't you think I'm trying? He's clearly processing this very well. Not. Did he do that to himself? Oh my gosh. I tried to. I tried to cut it out. Oh my gosh. That's horrible. This can't be good. Now with this ominous red glow behind her. Just like you. No. Why do you think we picked you? The ones no one will miss. Oh my gosh, that's so mean. Spend all your time trying to get out of high school. And now you'll never, ever leave. <laughs> Take that! Oh! Contracty goodness. Talisman. Talisman. He's like, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, was that the little thing she saw on like the bathroom counter? Oh my god. She's like, here she is. Woo! Nice one. We just need to keep them at bay. See if they destroy the talisman. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> with the bricks. Blocked him. <laughs> Swinging that thing around. Oh my god. Bonk, bonk, bonk. You really want to keep this up? They work well together. Kill us. <laughs> He's like, we're already dead. Oh, come on, Xander. You gotta flush it or something. Oh. Goodbye. School is intense, but you'll do all right as long as you're careful. And uh, you might want to think about sticking together. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to see at least Dawn as potential friends to make. They just went through this horrible thing together. You are the coolest mom ever. Oh, okay. Come on. Um, we still have a few more. <laughs> Their hair. Oh. I was looking for one or both of them to actually implode in a fearsome way right before midterms. Now I see that you got him socializing. Oh my god, was he joking? That's horrible. Well, we have a guidance counselor, but I was thinking the kids could use someone, you know, closer to their age, who still I'm has in. some... That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I'm curious to see where it's gonna go. <laughs> Look at that, it's not even noon, and I've already bullied my first family member in helping out. I'm gonna be the best principal ever. I don't like him, which isn't surprising. Principals have a notorious history at this school, but he's too loose with his words of bullying. She won't understand. She won't understand. Of course she won't understand, Sparky. I'm beyond her understand. Frickin' Warren. Sugar and spice and everything useless unless you're bacon. What are we doing with Warren? It's a ghost, right? More than flesh. More than blood. And glory! You know, I honestly don't think there's a human- What? What are we doing? Ghosts of his past. Not just yet. That's all right, though. I can be patient. Everything is well with- Oh, uh, Adam. She's exactly where I want her to be. From the initiative. Oh, my gosh. Two number 17. Uh, where it all began. Sold back and everything would be Jim Dandy? Soul slipperier than a greased weasel. Why do you think I sold mine? Because <laughs> you're a horrible, horrible character. Man. And I respect that. But you never will. You'll always be mine. <gasps> True. They're just haunting him. Oh my gosh. Singing our little song. I do miss Drew. She's a cuckoo bananas. But she did add some spice. Right from the beginning. Right. And the master! Wrong. Buffy. Oh, Buffy. I'm excited. It feels like they're doing like a big throwback to the first season, so I'm excited to see where this is going to go. 
So that was my first time watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season seven, episode one. It's still crazy to say season seven, the last season. I'm curious if they knew this was the last season. It definitely feels like they're doing, you know, they're coming full circle. We're back to the high school. They're referencing, you know, previous episodes, previous villains. So I feel like they must have known. Yeah, let me know in the comments. But sometimes shows, you know, have 10 seasons planned, 12 seasons planned. This feels like they either were asked not to pursue another season or decided to not pursue another season. Either way, I have the advantage of knowing this is the last season, but I'm curious how the audience would have felt if they were hoping there was a season eight, if it was announced that there was a season seven and it would be the last one. But yeah, let me know in the comments. We know the magic shop was obviously destroyed at the end of season six, so I feel like the high school is now replacing that, and we haven't seen the high school in so many years, so for it to come back was not something that I had even thought of. Like, the last time we saw it was when they went to it when it was burnt out, I think for like a Nightmares episode, if I'm remembering correctly, but I know we did one episode where we went back to the high school and it was desolate and destroyed and... I don't think they had even mentioned plans of bringing it back, so I'm curious to see why they decided to bring it back now. I mean, obviously, construction would have taken a while, but... And to see Xander involved in that process is interesting as well, and... Yeah, of course, we know the history of the principals at Sunnydale High, so to have, you know, we meet our new character, this new principal who... I'm going to assume is going to be our villain, but maybe that's too cut and dry. Maybe we've done that story, you know, twice before. So maybe it's going to have something else involved. And we know that they've put his office over like the opening of the Hellmouth, basically, where the library used to be. And this Robin Wood character to come out and to be pretty like standoffish to Buffy already. We know she hasn't had great reception with we know typically principals haven't given her the warmest reception and he is no different obviously but he does offer her a job as this like community outreach partner with the school so I'm excited to see where that's gonna go and I think it's something Buffy is like really excited about I'm sure the money will come in handy for sure and for her to be more involved with what's going on in the high school I think is something she wants obviously Dawn is going there now but I think also a little bit for her because she has such a history with the school now that it's back I think she kind of wants to keep tabs on it and see what's happening happening but I'm curious to see where this principal character is gonna go especially since we meet him in the first episode and yeah he's like oh I know about you Buffy which you know is obviously pretty suspicious and does he know she's the slayer like how much does he know so yeah I feel like they did a good job of setting it up for the first episode back and I'm very curious to see where it's gonna go I always watch the main credits and especially starting off a new season Giles wasn't in the main cast but we did have him as like a special guest star so He's taken Willow back to England and they're doing some kind of like witch training with her, which is interesting because Giles has always steered Willow very much away from magic, but maybe he's thinking if he can show her how to use magic properly. I'm not too sure what his plan with this is, but at least she's around people who understand magic and it's the coven who you know had warned Giles about her in the first place and it sounds like the coven is also a little bit scared of Willow and you know her saying it's all connected and she could feel things through the earth is very interesting so clearly she still has power but I'm wondering where she's gonna go with it if she'll be able to process everything and a lot happened to her in the previous season so for her to kind of be separated from the group on her own I think is tough but it's probably going to be important you know we kind of have everybody separated in this episode and for her to be surrounded with people who can truly talk to her about magic I think is going to be really important as well and also probably good for her to get a change of pace get away from the house that Tara was killed in and Sunnydale and just like you know the constant reminders of Tara so hopefully some new scenery and you know Giles being there as her mentor and kind of guiding her along this path and even though he doesn't have magical powers but you know is at least giving her the opportunity to explore that and learn more about it and he how he went from being you know Buffy's watcher to now he's kind of shifted being Willow's watcher almost and now that Buffy is kind of able to stand on her own and doesn't need him as much I'm sure she would love to have him around but now he's kind of taken over this you know mentorship of Willow and we know he's lost someone he loves you know Miss Calendar passed away thanks to Angelus in previous seasons and obviously Willow is deeply grieving the loss of Tara so maybe they can relate to that on some level as well 
I definitely wasn't expecting to see Spike back so soon. We knew in the previous uh, season finale that his soul was reinstated. So I was like, okay, I knew he would come back eventually because his whole premise was he's going to go back to show Buffy and go back to Sunnydale. So to see him living in the basement of the high school was not what I was expecting and him processing everything that's kind of what we saw with Angel as well when he first got his soul back you know literally struggling with years and years and years of being a horrible vampire and killing people and just doing despicable things and I loved that shot that scene of Spike's the literal ghosts you know coming forth and we went through so many it was so cool like I really feel like this season is going to be a full circle coming back to the previous seasons and I know some audience members don't like that when it feels like okay we've done this already but I love seeing the throwbacks to the older episodes and you know it's just kind of that nod to the audience like hey remember this because they've been through so much so seeing Drusilla seeing the master you know seeing Glory seeing Warren who at first I was like how did freaking Warren come back from the dead but you know to go through the progression everybody changing into all of these past people that he's interacted with you know some good some bad some both like to have that and the master setting it up basically saying like you know something evil is coming you know something dark and that you know Spike's been here the whole time like Sunnydale is his home and this is where he is and he's got these cuts on his chest because it sounds like he tried to like rip his own heart out basically because he was feeling too much and yeah I imagine he's going to be mentally struggling with a lot but wasn't expecting him to be in this episode and He's still in the main cast, so I'm assuming his storyline is going to continue for the rest of the season. I love the high school sets. I love the library. And it just feels like such a nostalgic, you know, throwback to all of those previous episodes. And, you know, Buffy walking Dawn into high school and, you know, how we started the series with Joyce dropping Buffy off at high school. And now she's doing that with her sister and, you know, warning her of all the things that happened to her when she was there and, you know, giving her weapons and a cell phone and, you know, kind of trying to set her up even though Xander is you know promised that there's nothing wrong obviously we see that is not the case and I'm glad Dawn has at least made some friends even if they were trauma bonded from you know these horrible ghost zombies that were trying to get revenge but at least now she's got some friends and even when Buffy came storming in the room, I was like, okay, she's probably going to have some awkward social interactions now. And, you know, Buffy herself says she's ruined her, you know, popularity in 30 seconds. And we know Buffy used to be pretty popular in high school before she became the Slayer. And after she was the Slayer, we know obviously she was sticking with the Scooby gang and hanging out with them and having that core friend group. And I think Dawn is really going to need that. So we had those new characters, uh, Kit and Carlos, added into this episode as well. I don't know how frequently we'll see them, but, you know, it's just nice to see Dawn kind of branching out away from just Buffy and just Buffy's friends. Like now she's starting to get her own friends and her own life and, you know, starting high school and is actually, you know, excited about that and, you know, trying to take the step to becoming, you know, a young adult. Willow is able to see the Hellmouth and says its opening is going to swallow us all up, which is horrible. But again, that's going back to, you know, season one, episode one, like welcome to the Hellmouth and, you know, Sunnydale and all of these creatures that are just kind of lurking beneath, you know, Sunnydale and what's that going to look like. So I feel like the Hellmouth is going to be our main villain for this season. Um, please no spoilers, but the way they're kind of setting it up that something dark, you know, has been lurking and something is going to come you know, out of the shadows, basically. So I'm curious to see where that's going to go. But in my mind, I don't think it's going to be the principal, maybe, but I feel like, yeah, we've kind of already run that route, you know, a few times and it seems too obvious. So I feel like something from the Hellmouth is going to come back and I'm glad it's not going to be Willow with her dark magic. I'm glad it's not going to be Spike, you know, and his vengeance on Buffy. So I wasn't expecting to meet the villain, you know, in the first episode, unless it does turn out to be the principal. But yeah, I feel like they did a good job with the season opener, setting things up for future episodes, setting the scene. You know, we had uh, one scene with Anya, basically, where she's going out and trying to prove how tough she is. But even our friend is telling her, like, you need to toughen up. Like, if you're going to be a demon, you have to do horrible things, basically, and calls Anya soft serve. And she was supposed to turn somebody into a frog and couldn't do that. And, you know, she's just, I think, has too much compassion now for a vengeance demon, which is obviously not a requirement for that job. We didn't find out who put the talisman in the bathroom, so I'm hoping that's something they discuss. Or maybe they'll just, you know, keep the seeds going and then eventually reveal who's behind all of this. 
it was nice to find out that Kit can see ghosts and see supernatural things. She looked terrified, but I feel like that'll help Dawn, you know, bond with her. And obviously Dawn has experience with supernatural things as well. But to know someone else can see that stuff and maybe Kit has experience in that. I don't know. Well, hopefully we find out more about her character and Carlos's character as well. Overall, I thought it was a good first episode. I feel like they've come full circle. They're doing a good job of, you know, referencing previous episodes and previous villains and the literal ghosts of Sunnydale, like the mass, you know, graves, basically. And even the ghosts saying, like, you built the school on our grave and, you know, just the casualties that have happened through all the seasons and, you know, just the body count that has happened and to see these, you know, ghosts be brought back and just reminding everybody of you know the dark history of Sunnydale and all the horrible things that happened at that high school I'm glad you know Dawn has made some friends and that Buffy is going to be involved as a counselor in some way so yeah I feel like it was a good setup episode obviously we have Willow in the UK with Giles and learning more about witchcraft with this coven Xander seems to be leading this project he seems to you know shows up in a suit like I feel like he's getting higher up in the ranks of his construction job and seems to really be enjoying it so that's great I wasn't sure what they were going to choose for a career path for him but he seems to really be excelling at it I hope Giles continues to be in the first few episodes at least considering he seems to be helping Willow and mentoring her so it's so great to have his presence back and I feel like it's something we really needed and especially if we're you know planning this season around going back to previous seasons obviously he was a huge part of that. I'm worried to see where we're gonna go with the Hellmouth opening if it is gonna swallow them all up. What's that going to look like? Is Willow going to be able to stop that? Everybody seems to be afraid of her using magic because obviously we know the dark path she can go down. So, and she's got a lot to process. Spike is back as well. And, you know, definitely haunted by the ghost of his past now that his soul is back. So, yeah, I think a great job setting up for the seventh and final season, which is still so bittersweet to say. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. When in doubt, decapitation works every time. The principal's office. See anyone invisible? There's always a creepy basement. Does it kill ghosts? A cell phone? I thought he got his soul back! But she did add some spice. Where it all began. Potential friends to make. They just went through this horrible thing together.